Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Victor again with my Ionic 5. Today though, we have a special treat. I got a chance to virtually sit down with Manny from Hyundai 112 and talk shop for a little bit. He also goes by Illustrious Light 72 on Reddit, so I'm sure many of you have come across his posts there. If you didn't know, Manny is in sales at Hyundai 112, and in fact, he helped me with my Ionic 5 purchase back in February of this year. One of my very first videos was about how I bought my Ionic 5 at MSRP and how that dealership was fantastic. The sales guy helped me with returning my rental car, with making sure the car was charged for my three hour drive home, and then making sure that I had the logins and apps set up for Digital Key, for Blue Link, for Electrify America before leaving the dealership. Well, this is that same Manny from Hyundai 112. As I also mentioned, he goes by Illustrious Light 72 on Reddit. He's the one that posted all that really helpful information about the software fix for our stop sale roll away recall issue. If you remember after the news broke about the stop sale, tons of people were panicking and worrying about their cars that were due to arrive soon and what that meant for them if there was a stop sale. To my knowledge, Manny was probably the first one with any affiliation to Hyundai or even the Hyundai dealer network to provide an update for all of us owners. So I'm sure I'm not alone in saying this, but thank you Manny for doing that. So anyways, I had a couple questions on my mind about things that I've seen buyers struggle with. So I wanted to reach out to someone with first-hand knowledge about the ins and outs of Ionic 5 sales, as well as pick his brain a little bit about some other Ionic 5 related things. So without further ado, here's the interview. First one I had for you was, if you remember back in February when I bought my car from you guys originally, you guys were doing first come, first serve. Um, yep. And when or why did you guys start doing a wait list? Well, the uh, reason why I did it was for my own sanity. Because when, when I posted, when I did the first post on Reddit, um, I never expected that I was going to get out of control. Uh, I remember... Um, I posted, I think I wanted, I want to say a total of about 15, 16 units that, that we had in common on that allocation, which has been the largest, uh, since, since then. And, um, out of nowhere, people starting to, I started to flood my, my DMS on Reddit and emailing me and calling the store. Um, it got to the point that within i want to say within two hours three hours of the post i sold 10 units out of the 15 and i quickly decided you know what i need to come up with a method because i know that i'm gonna get more calls more people interested in the car than the units that i have available so i have to uh kind of like find a way to organize uh organize the list uh, in a way that I can give a fair shot to everybody. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, man! It just took off, huh? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's 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 been it's been crazy craziness since then. It's like so many people uh, from all over the country. I never thought that I would get customers from California or Louisiana, Arizona. You know. I, I even get customers from New Hampshire, you know, in my, in my seven years at that business, I have had my fair shares of uh, out-of-state customers, uh, usually Connecticut, New Jersey, every now and then some Pennsylvania customer, which is, you know, within, within a decent distance from, from the store. You know, it's, 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 it's not easy to get to, but it's not impossible. You know what I mean? And, and it's, it's just now like I've been getting people from all over the place, East Coast, West Coast, everywhere. <laughs> That's crazy. Yep. So for your actual wait list, do you guys take deposits? Is it refundable? How does that all work? As a golden rule, I don't like to take deposits uh, on units that I don't even know if I'm going to get. Uh, and just, just, just that's just... I out of respect for for the customer i want to say because when i take your money you are having an expectation you're expecting that that particular vehicle is going to show up and based on the uh global situation that we all have been experiencing the past two years three years uh 
everything has got has gotten even much more difficult to obtain and i try not to keep uh, give people any hopes i tell them look we get allocations once maybe twice a month but we just don't know how many units we're going to get so what i can do is just write your name and number what kind of vehicle you're looking for give me at least two color choices because the more color choices you have the easier it will be you don't feel that you're settling for less you know some people are that set on digital teal which is by far uh and your color the one you have the uh the uh, shooting star those are the two most difficult colors to get and I just, you know, out of, out of respect for them, I say, look, let me just let me put your name on the list. And when I get an allocation, if I stumble across something similar, then I'll give you a shout and I'll give you the opportunity to, you know, if you want to proceed, then we'll call it. We'll make it happen. Yeah, that's awesome to hear, because I've yeah. I've heard a huge range of deposits that are non-refundable to deposits that are yeah. unrefundable for a certain amount of time. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I yeah, know some some stores. I mean, the, uh, the it's it's a little bit harsh because some some stores, especially in the Long Island, in the in, in the New York market, which is so competitive, there's so many stores within relatively short distance from each other. Uh, everybody kind of is like developing their own way of kind of like conducting business, but. The company that I have been working with for the past seven years, this guy is very family oriented. Uh, the um, he he's kind of like like he doesn't he lives in the community. That's what I want to say. He lives in the community and and he doesn't want to feel like he's taking advantage of people. He wants to make money like everybody else is, but he doesn't want to feel like he's you know taking advantage of you, which is a which is a good thing. Yeah, that's huge. That's really good to hear. So do you have a rough idea what the average weight is currently between an SE and SEL or even a limited? Well, the uh, you sh uh, as you might be aware, the uh, the biggest um, the biggest amount of people requesting these cars are looking for limited. Some of them are willing to settle for the SEL. Some people that are looking for the SEL, they might settle for an SE in, in very extreme circumstances. But most of most customers that I get in touch with, at least I want to say 85, 90% of them, they are looking for limited trim level. So unfortunately, there's not a specific ETA that I can give you on, on the vehicles because we just get an allocation uh, of X amount of unit units uh, either once or twice a month. And it's not like the allocations that we get for Palisades or Santa Fe's or Sonatas or Elantras, which usually we get three or four allocations a month. So at least every other week we're getting an allocation for those cars. Uh, no, because of, I guess, their logistic and the shortage on, on supplies to build the Ionic 5s, they are, they're limiting like the amount of cars that we get. So, so for example... Last allocation about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I was hoping that we were going to get like 10 cars. You only got four. Two limiteds and one SEL where we'll drive and an SE. And then the allocation before that, we got like 12 cars. And the allocation before that, we got like 15, 20 cars. And the largest one that we got was the one that you took part of that. that that's when we were able to secure your vehicle. On that one, we got, I want to say, 20, 22 cars, which was unheard of. And we were at a, at a point because we don't have that many requests on electrics and plug-in hybrids or anything like it on this area. Most people, they like to drive diesel or just gasoline. And out of nowhere gas prices are starting to shoot up and people are looking, plugging hybrids, hybrids and this and that. And now it's to the point that we're just, we're at the mercy of the factory. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, sir. And roughly how many people do you have on your wait list currently? Right now, 
between what I have on Reddit and in my in my little brown book, I want to say about 120, 135 people roughly. <laughs> wow. Yep. And what do you usually tell them if they ask you, oh, what's my rough timeline for waiting? I mean, like I I I want to answer to them, but I just don't know. Uh because it depends on how many units we get on any given allocation. You know, like I have I have them set by groups, like um how many customers are looking for a limited digital teal or lucid blue or atlas wide, uh, shooting star. And some people are very dead set with the color they want. They don't want to settle for anything less. And they tell me, man, if you don't get the color, don't even call me. So some some of those people, they've been waiting for three, four months, and I haven't even contacted them because I haven't been able to get what they want. Yeah. And have you heard of Priority Bank? Do you know what that is? What what does it do? Does it actually help? It, uh, it used to be really good when we had access to it. <laughs> Because uh, every now and then, before the uh, the shortage on on the uh, on the inventory, um, if we had a customer looking for like an odd color combination or package that we normally don't sell, we were able to get in touch with with our rep and see, look, do you have anything available at the port or that is already built? Do you think you can swing it our way? And in some cases, we were lucky enough to get that, but because of the shortage, it's it's uh, has it has been to the point that we don't even have the ability to pick color packages. So, just to give you a quick example, uh, last week we started to get allocations for Palisade 2023 and uh, also Elantris 2023s, and they just sent a list. Uh, you're going to get Palisade. We got a list of, I want to say, like 15, 20 of them. But they send SC, SEL, XRT, which is a new trim level coming up for 2023. And for Elantra, they just sent a handful, a bunch of SELs, SEL convenience in like four or five limiteds. So we're not at the point, we're not on a position that we can cherry pick what we want, which back way back when before the pandemic whenever we access the priority bank we were able to pick okay we're selling how how many sonatas limiteds are we selling on a monthly basis are we selling 20 okay let's get 30 of them so usually you used to order a little bit more than what we sell just so we can have any surplus in case of in case of any hiccups on production or anything like that so currently you can't even request it or you still can? It just doesn't do anything? No, you can't. You cannot even request anything. You just at the mercy of the factory. They just tell, they uh, release an allocation of, let's say, 400 cars for the Northeast region. Um, and they divide that based on the volume of each individual store. The more units you sell, the more units you're going to get in return. That's the reason why when we do this, out of state deals and even local deals uh, for some states that I know that are a little bit too distant, uh, distant, we can do a, an exception of maybe four days, but we try to deliver the car within two days of getting the vehicle at the store because the quick, the quick, the quicker we turn that inventory around, the more units we're going to get in return. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. I guess one thing that's been really confusing for a lot of people that are buying is mm -hmm. the dealer tells them they can place an order or tells them that they've placed an order. What do you think is happening then in that sense where the dealer says, oh yeah, we placed an order for you. And whether they tell them it's your priority bank or they don't tell them anything and just say, oh yeah, we placed an order for you. What's going on there? I mean, at that point, I wouldn't be able to answer for, for any anybody else out there. But in my particular situation, if we don't have the car, we don't even bother taking a deposit or tell or tell the customer, oh, we're going to order the car for you because we just simply can't do it. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. And I guess personally for you, how, how have things changed since pre-pandemic sales to now? Well, pre-pandemic, it, it's a fierce competition. 
I'm not going to lie to you because um, most of the dealerships in the area, they do not so cool things with customers. And, but, you know, in a sense, it makes our, our job a lot easier because since I started to work at the store, we always had the policy of no hidden fees, no over MSRP, no nothing like that. So it's kind of like um, we have that advantage above the competition because we're doing the right thing. You know, we're like we sometimes I let customers out on a particular vehicle and when they go to other stores and they experience the way they're first treated and the way they present the numbers and all that, then they realize that there's a drastic difference between them and us. And but to simply answer your question, it, uh, if I tell you that I'm I'm doing bad, I'm I'm, I'm an ungrateful per- person because I uh, we've been more than blessed because of the influx of customers, not only out of state but our local customer base has increased drastically because of the way we conduct business. Yeah, that's awesome, and I'm definitely firsthand. <laughs> I experience it, and I 100 percent agree. So thank you, guys. That was. Definitely, yeah. a, definitely a change in experience between all the other dealerships I've been to. Yes, sir. <laughs> and like you said, you guys sell everything at MSRP, right? Even your Palisades, which I know are probably flying off the lots. Is there a wait list for that one? Uh, at the moment, the only vehicle that we are selling out of state, it's going to be the, uh, the Ionic 5. The reason being is because we're not getting enough. Elantra, Sonatas, Palisades, Tucson, Santa Fe to satisfy local customers orders so we don't want to deprive them of getting the car but because we know uh that we have a niche on the electric segment and because i'm taking charge of it like i'm handling like the whole thing then that's why i'm a, i'm able to reach out to out of state customers and fulfill those orders but at the moment we're not selling any other than ionic five out of state and how many ionic fives do you think you've sold since my first post on reddit i want to say about 90 (laughs) and before that i sold like a good i want to say like 25 of them Man. There was a month, uh, I, it was in February, that I outsold every store in the Eastern, in the in the district Ooh. with the most uh, sold Ionic 5 units. That's That's been good then, right? It is. I can complain, man. Yeah. I cannot complain. Gotcha. If I complain, I'm an, I'm an ungr- ungrateful person. <laughs> yeah. And I, oh. uh, I came, I came to this country with nothing and, and, and. I know what it is to have nothing and I don't have it all now, but I'm definitely happier than what I was before. Mm. This, this thing is kind of like uh, my baby because I, I like technology. I'm a technology person. Before I used to do car sales, I used to be a network administrator in my home country. Uh, but life changes. I'm off the uh, IT field. Now I'm on the car field. But I have always been a car guy my whole life. And I get excited when, when, when I see something that I know is good. And I have never felt more excited about a vehicle than probably the last time I was working in Highlight Brand. About eight years ago, nine years ago, I used to work for Mercedes-Benz and Porsche and, and it was beautiful to see those fancy and fast cars and all that stuff. And this thing checks all the boxes. A little nugget for you. Did you know that for 2023, um, Honda is going to bring Gravity Gold? Are you serious? The, uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. For the Ionic 5. Wow! Yeah, I've been I've been waiting to see that thing in person. I thought I'm probably never going to see I'm it. I'm dying. That that's actually the car that I want to get. That's actually I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm waiting to see if they're going to release the end version 
if uh, if that comes, then I want to get the end on Gravity Goal. That's what oh I want to do. Oh my gosh! Hey, yeah. if that happens, you let me know. I'm number two in line. That's that's <laughs> like the DeLorean. That's what I want. <laughs> exactly. No, that's a, that's a beautiful color. I actually, I actually, um, my manager told me about it uh, not too long ago. He told me like, uh, have you seen Gravity Goal? Because mentioned that they're going to bring that color like okay gosh so let me know in the comments below which color looks better gravity gold or shooting star gray if i get the chance to switch to an ionic 5n those are the two colors i'd be considering anyways that wraps up the interview with manny he was just a great guy to work with when i bought my ionic 5 at msrp from hyundai 112 and like he said they are a very family and neighborhood oriented dealer that refuses to sell above MSRP and they don't even request a deposit in order to get on their wait list for the Ionic 5. I don't think it gets much better than that. So if you want to get in contact with Manny at Hyundai 112, here's his contact info. Let me know if you guys have any questions you want to ask if we line up another interview in the future. And like I said, let me know which color you would buy between Gravity Gold and Shooting Star Gray. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.